Hey guys, welcome to the 23rd C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make your application look a little bit more professional. So, the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to add images to a button, which really makes the application look a lot nicer. So, to get started, just drag a button onto your main form. And I'm going to change the text to message because I'm going to use this for something else later in the tutorial. So now to get an image for your button, a really great great, great website is iconfinder.com and I'll have a link to it in the description. So here just type in a keyword um, for an image. Um, since my button name is message, I'm just going to call it, just type in message and click enter. And here we have a whole bunch of message icons. Now for buttons, the ideal size is 16 pixels by 16 pixels, so just drag this little bar up here down to 16 pixels, and we should get images in the correct size. So, for one that I like, and mm, something to do with a message. Uh, I guess I'll use this one right here, so just click on PNG, and we'll download um, an image of it. And then we can go back into Visual Studio or C Sharp, whichever you're using, and click on our button right here. And then go over in the Properties panel, go over to Image. Just click that, and then click on this little button right here. Go up to Local Resource, and click Import. And then navigate to the image you downloaded. Mine is that one. OK. And as you can see, it's um, the image is on the button right now. Um, however, um, the text is over the image, which is not what we would like. We would like it to be off to the side. So go uh, when, with your button still highlighted. Go over in the properties panel and go over to text image relation and change that either to image before text or image or text before image. Either way, it doesn't matter. I like it image before text. And then just drag your button out so that it looks like that. And as you can see, now you have a button with an image on it that makes it look much better. Now. Um, um, uh, the second thing I'm going to show you is how to make your message boxes look a lot nicer. So um, just double click on this message button you created, and then we're going to do message box dot show, which I'm sure you've done many times, and then just type in whatever message you would like it to show. Um, I'm just going to say hello, and then if you do a comma, you, this will um, set the um, uh, title of the message box is text, so it's just, I'm just going to say mm, welcome message, and then we go over here, and you can change the buttons on your message box, we do message box, buttons, and then you can choose anything, but it's going to leave it to be okay, and then you can choose the icon for your message box, so we're going to message box icon, and I'm going to make it be information, because that seems most appropriate. So now, when we debug, click on our message button, we're displayed with a very nice message box, and as you can see, it has the icon right there, which really makes it look a lot nicer, and you can change the title of the message box, which is that welcome message, right there. The third thing I'm going to show you is using a group box, which I think I showed um, in a previous tutorial, um, but just to refresh your memory, go to group box, just drag it on your form, and you can, I don't know if you can really see that, um, I hope you can, I'm recording in HD, but anyways, what this pretty much do, does is it allows you to group your controls in like, by like what they do, or well, you can group them by anything you want, but I'd group them by what they do. So this, let's change this to like, let's say we were making like a search, um, an application that searches, so I'll just drag that out of the way. And so we just, say so just put a button there, said like, search, and we had a text box right next to it. Text box there. Just drag that out. It'll look a little bit better. And yeah, we just leave that. We don't need that anymore. Oops. But anyways, yeah. As you can see, that looks um a lot better than just having a text box and a button on the form. And the final thing I'm going to show you is how to change the icon of your um, application. So. As you can see, it's just the default icon, and when you debug, it's just the default icon right there, which is not really what we want if you're trying to make your program look nice. So, 
And again, go back to this iconfinder.com and type in the, whatever like your program is about. Like, say you made like an email or application, so you just type in like email. And here you have a bunch of email icons. However, these are a bit too small to use for our icon because it will be displayed down there. So I'd say about 48 by 48 or 64 by 64. I'm gonna go with 64 by 64 just to make sure. So mm, any of these looks fine. Um, I'm gonna use this one though. Now that we are having it be the icon, we need um, the icon to be in ICO format. So we're going to click ICO, and it will download an image in ICO format. So now go back to either Visual Studio or C Sharp, whichever you're using, and have your form selected. Then go over to Icon and click this button right here, and navigate to the um, icon you downloaded. And as you can see, it only accepts ICO format. So to click on that, click Open and it changed it right there. That one's not exactly perfect because it has a white background, but you get the idea. You can obviously fool around with that and find icons that are better. So now when we debug, right down there we get the icon. And you probably want to just name your form to let's say it was an email. But yeah. So if you have any questions about um, customizing your um, application, I guess, or making it look more professional, just talk to me on AIM. My AIM is ITZAdam5. Um, so, yeah, see you guys.